Welcome to Lesson 1, Microsoft.NET Technology Overview. In this lesson, I'll provide you with some important fundamental information about Microsoft's .NET technology. I'll also provide some history and background information for Microsoft.NET and introduce you to some fundamental information. We'll cover terms, concepts, and inf other information that you'll need in subsequent lessons in this course. So the topics are going to be Introduction to Microsoft.NET and Building the Foundation, Key Concepts. Okay, Introduction to .NET. What is .NET? Well, the fact is, is that .NET is one of the most important developer-targeted technology innovations that Microsoft has ever released. The technology itself is embodied within all of their current generation products and operating systems, and it's a core technology for Microsoft. In fact, the .NET framework has become a, a fundamental component of Microsoft's current generation of operating systems. So let's break this down a bit. .NET is a strategic technology to connect information, people, systems, and devices through software. The .NET framework is a very substantial and robust set of application building blocks or class libraries. The .NET framework is also the central component in a common environment that's used for building, deploying, and running web services and web applications. But as you'll see as we move through the course, there's so much more to .NET than this. One thing that you may have heard is that .NET is language agnostic or language neutral. What this means is that there are many languages, about 40 or so at my last count, that work with or leverage the .NET framework. There's support for Microsoft languages like C++ and C Sharp, Visual Basic and JScript, and there's also support for a number of third-party languages not created by Microsoft, like Fujitsu Computer Systems, NetCobol for .NET. Now let's talk about Microsoft.NET framework versions. Microsoft started development on the .NET framework in the late 1990s, originally under the name of Next Generation Windows Services. In February of 2003, Microsoft introduced the .NET Framework 1.0. This is the first release of the .NET Framework. This version of the framework was also part of the first release of Microsoft Visual Studio .NET. In April of 2003, Microsoft released version 1.1 of the .NET Framework, and this was the first .NET Framework upgrade. This release of the framework was also included with the second release of Microsoft's Visual Studio .NET 2003, and this version of the framework was also the first version of the .NET framework to be included as part of a Windows operating system, specifically Microsoft Windows Server 2003. In January of 2006, Microsoft released the .NET Framework 2.0. This version of the framework was also released with Microsoft Visual Studio 2005, Microsoft SQL Server 2005, BizTalk 2006, and this version of the framework was also shipped with Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Release 2. Microsoft continued to enhance the capabilities of the .NET framework with .NET Framework 3.0 release, which shipped in November of 2006. In this version of the framework, Microsoft included components and APIs that are essential for Microsoft Windows Vista and future Microsoft operating systems. And finally, this version of this framework includes the 2.0 version of the Common Language Runtime. By now, you should be getting the idea that .NET is many things. The bottom line is that .NET represents a fundamental shift in the way that applications are developed. No longer will there be any of the religious arguments about the suitability of one language over another. Now, most appropriately, applications can be developed based on what language is best suited for the application. It's also made multi-language application development much more practical because at the end of the day, all of the applications have components that are created in .NET, and all of the compilers generate the same kind of code, Microsoft Intermediate Language, or MSIL. Now, Microsoft has been pretty forward-thinking in its development of .NET. This technology was developed from the ground up with the Internet in mind. 
even though the technology was developed by Microsoft for applications that run on their operating systems and PC technology in general, you need to know that Microsoft was keenly aware that the technology needed to embrace open standards. Microsoft worked with many of its partners across the industry and was represented on standards committees to make sure that internet standards were embodied within the technology to assure absolute interoperability and compatibility with other open technologies. Some of these standards are listed here. XML, HTTP, SOAP, and UDDI, and this is just a few of the standards implemented. 